Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and for those of you that are new to my channel, I am a home daycare provider. I run my home daycare mainly out of my basement area and I like to specialize in doing like storefronts. Um, I love vintage toys. I have a lot of those. I have several like tours that I've done over this past year. I have several hauls I've done. I'll link my latest tour up above so that you can see my whole house tour. But today's video, I wanted to focus on the back half of my basement, which has typically been used for my infant area. And so the back wall previously was just like with cutouts on it and posters. And the front half is where I had my original storefronts. And I still do have those storefronts, but I have since added four more. Now I'll be going through each of the four storefronts and my thought process behind it and kind of how I designed it and just like the changes that I have made. I need to work with the Melissa and Doug line just because the kids that I'm watching are getting older. I have a couple of three-year-olds and a couple of children that are on the verge of becoming three. And so I really wanted to step up their imagination. And I found with this line with Melissa and Doug, it does exactly that. And plus the toys are super simple to put together. Now with these four storefronts, the only thing that is not Melissa and Doug is that little kitchen set right there. I got that from Walmart. Otherwise, the other three are Melissa and Doug products. So let's just get started. Now the first thing I did when creating these backdrops was come up with a concept. And I'm gonna insert a picture here of what the original wall looked like. I simply just taped it off into four different sections. And then I went on Microsoft Word and really thought about what did I want to do. I was going to do like a Home Depot and a Barbie house, but I just, I decided to scrap those. I think I may actually do those on the other side. I'm gonna revamp some of the storefronts that I had previously done over there. But for this project, I decided to go with like a grocery store, a diner, a kitchen, and a hospital. So the items below are items that I had purchased and I kind of like put their measurements out. And then on top, I just simply put in some designs for like a basic um, design so that I could work with it. My first storefront I decided to do was a grocery store. And I was looking online, like what can I do? Um, for a backdrop. So I made this grocery like refrigerator slash freezer. I simply just painted this blue and then found clip art on Google, printed it out, laminated it, and put some like money signs with it. And I wanna say I hot glued these to the wall, which they come off so simple because I used very little hot glue. And then for the dividers, that is just um, like a poster board that I found. It almost looks like fake um, Wayne's coating. And so I cut that into sections. And then I put this blue right here. This is a poster board. And then the white letters are from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added some simple border. And at the bottom, I did um, another blue, like the same blue poster board. And I just put black lines with permanent marker. And then these door handles right here, I got from Home Depot. I want to say they were like $3 each. And those are actual real door handles. I just simply hot glued those on as well. So here's the Melissa and Doug Fresh Mart. I want to say this was like $150 or 160 Now it did not come with any of the food. I bought three different food packages from the Melissa and Doug line, and then I purchased some items from the Dollar Tree. So let me go ahead and show you the actual Mart first, and then we'll talk about the food. It was super simple to put together. This thing is so cute, guys. I can't get over it. So on this side, it has like a little conveyor belt. It has, you know, the pin pad with the fake debit card. And this actually works. The kids can sign their names and then it erases off. This little grocery bag right here, I simply purchased from the Target dollar spot. I think that was like $3. On the back side, it has like produce prices. You could put um, some more like food items right here, but check out this conveyor belt. It really works. This is so funny. And then on this side, it has, you know, like a little mini cash register. It has the keypad up on top. And then if you take the food while it's on and scan it, it works. And it doesn't have to be Melissa and Doug food. Now it can be any brand of food. And then it had a little cashier drawer or has one. Um, this Right here, the coins did not come with it. This came with a separate Melissa and Doug money set, but it did come with dollar bills. I think it came with 10 ones, two fives, and two tens. And I simply just laminated them so that they'll last longer. 
Now for the food, I bought two different Melissa and Doug items. I bought the little um, canister set and then I bought their like refrigerator set as well. But you can go to Dollar Tree. I got these two um, little cleaning supply things from Dollar Tree. I simply just poured out what was in it, washed it out, and then the kids can have that. So you don't have to spend the money for the Dollar or for the Melissa and Doug items. You can totally go to the Dollar Tree. Then I'll show you the other food on this side. Again, this was part of that condiments. Actually, you know what I did? I'm sorry. I got three different things because I got a little condiment thing as well. And then again, here are more items from the Dollar Tree. They have a six pack of um, cereal boxes for a dollar, guys. So you can go that route as well. And then this is more Melissa and Doug food right here. Now for the grocery cart, I found this online at Walmart for $15. And originally I had bought it thinking I was going to do that Home Depot um, grocery store front. And I thought this was orange, but it's actually red. It's chintzy, guys. It's not like the greatest product, but it totally works for inside. It's lightweight. I don't think it'll fall apart. Um, it came already assembled. I just simply took it out of the box and I think attached it on the bottom. So it's great for indoor use. This probably wouldn't last too long on the outside. So that is it right there for the grocery store. Next, let's go to the diner. Now this diner set I did buy as well. I believe I bought this off of Amazon. It was like 120, 130. And then I bought the diner accessory kit that Melissa and Doug sells. And I wanna say that was like $30 as well. So for the backdrop, I simply just painted this area gray. I already had the clock. The letters are from Joanne Fabrics. They are paper mache letters and I just simply painted them white. And then that checkered paper is actually contact paper. And then I put like black border. I painted two black windows. This come in were open sign, it was a freebie on Google. I just simply, you know, Google diner signs, printed it out, laminated it, stuck that on the wall, just put some little stickers for in and out. And then these two menus are actually one menu. I cut in half from Matt, Melissa and Doug diner set and simply just put that on the wall. Cause I was looking online for free diner menus and I couldn't find anything that I liked. And so that's why I cut apart this menu. And then I got these two black window picture frames from Home Depot, painted them black. They were 99 cents each. And then I found more clip art online. I just Googled diner clip art. And I thought this was cute because it would look like they're really looking into like the diner through the windows. And again, more of that contact paper on the bottom. So for this dinette set, the front of it is super cute, guys. It actually moves like the jukebox. And it came with this sign. This is like another menu. And then on the back, it says, sorry, we're closed. And I just like, it came with a little clip to clip that on there. It has two seats right here. I guess you would put like food or like a cake on there. And then I want to say this came with it. This may have came with the accessory um, pack, but it came with a little bell. And then on the back side, Right here is another I like idea you can do for food. These are soft foods and these are from the Dollar Tree. So I thought this was really cute. I think there's a hot dog. I'm gonna have to go back and get that as well. But it looks like little diner food. So I thought that was great. With that accessory pack, it also came with a coffee pot and then some dishware. And then it came with this little like dinette apron, which I thought was really cute. And a little like pop dispenser, a shake dispenser. And then it came with this dry erase guest check. And it came with a little dry erase marker as well. This is food that I had purchased. It came with that accessory pack. So it looks like a little burger, some pancakes, egg. These are all wooden. So I just stuck them in a little basket I got from the Dollar Tree. It has a little burner. The knobs really do twist. And then down here, I simply just got some like chef hats from the Dollar Tree. Put those in there. And then I had these little baskets as well from the Dollar Tree. I thought these looked you know, 1950-ish, you can put like hot dogs and stuff like that in there. So I simply added those. And then right here is some pots and pans. I don't think I put anything in here, no. So overall, I love this diner. I think it's so cute. Moving on to the kitchen. Like I said, this is the only non-Melissa and Doug product that I bought. I bought this kitchen to mimic actually my real life kitchen. I'll insert a picture here of the two after I put it together. I put it in my kitchen and took a picture of it. I love the blue and white concept. So for the backdrop, 
I just simply paint, uh, painted it yellow. And I didn't want to do too much on the sides just because there is a lot going on with the diner and the hospital. So what I did for the backdrop is I simply went to Hobby Lobby and bought a little poster. They were clearanced out. I think that they're going to stop selling their posters. And so I thought that looked like a little beach theme. I got these blinds from Walmart and then I put a little navy um, border on top. So that way it kind of looks like you're looking out at the beach. I already had this Melissa and Doug mixer set and then I had this little cookbook. I would like to put the Melissa and Doug toaster on there. I need to go and purchase that. I can't find it in the stores though, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go order that online. This kitchen set did come with two pans and it came with that brown cutting board. Here's like a little microwave. And then I went ahead and purchased this separately. This is Melissa and Doug as well. I wanna say that was like $13. And then look at this guys, this is so cute. It's a little cappuccino coffee maker. It came with two cups and all those little accessories. I think that was like $20. And I just love the little like brass finishes on this. The only thing is that this doesn't go all the way back. So it kind of rust against there. I'm wondering if that's gonna like start getting like scrapes on the side of that. And then I simply just added some food that I mostly got from like the Dollar Tree and stuff in there. And then this middle section, I put all of my dishware. And then over here, I had this like Melissa and Doug cleaning set that I had gotten off of like Facebook Marketplace for $8. I think that retails for like $20 brand new. And then I hung up a little, I think this came with that mixing set, a little pot holder. I was gonna hang up some aprons, maybe on the wall right there. And then on the side of this, it came with a little telephone that clips on and it comes off as well. This was, I wanna say a hundred and either $120 or $130 as well. I'll link all the products down below so you can check them out. And then I brought this table over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this here just because I don't want it to look too crowded in this space. But for now, I have the table there. And then that's a Melissa and Doug condiment set as well, I think for like $10. And then the last storefront I wanted to do was a hospital. So for the basic design, I painted this wall white and then went over it with the sponge. Um, and use gray paint just to kind of make like a faux brick building. Painted the little windows navy, or painted them blue and then put navy blue border on top. The letters are from Hobby Lobby. And then I painted a set of doors. Originally I had painted um, bushes here on the side, but I did not like the way they turned out. So I went ahead and just bought um, poster board in two different colors of green and then cut out like bush shapes, I don't know. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool though because it looks like almost like 3D. So I love the way that it turned out. And then on this back wall, I simply just painted it red. I found this little sign on TPT, laminated that, put a black border on there. And then this picture frame I actually got clearance for $6 at Hobby Lobby. I simply just put in black poster board and then used paint markers and made like a little medical device unit. I just hung that off with like two nails. And then this fabric I bought from Joanne Fabrics. I do not know how to sew. So what I did was I got hem tape and I simply went along all four sides and then ironed it on and then created like a little, I don't know, a little area right here that I can hang on the um, curtain rod. And then this little center right here is the Get Well Center for Melissa and Doug. This is so cute. So I'll walk around and show you all the sides of this. It has like a little fake diploma, a little healthy chart, a little fake aquarium. I'm assuming this is where the patients would check in. They could sit on that chair right there. They have a little check-in box and then it came with this little patient chart. This is so cute. I think you could write on this with dry eraser as well. And then they can fill that out. It has a little clock, a little credit card machine. I thought that was cute. And then it came with two different x-rays and a little phone, a little sink area, a little drawer right here you can put stuff in. And then I simply just added this little um, doctor's kit, this little vintage doctor's kit that I had for before. And then on this side, I'm assuming it's like the wellness side where the kids would lay down. It has a little blood pressure cuff. This is super cute. You can turn this, I guess this would fit on a little kid's wrist. And then it has another little area down here where you can hang stuff or put stuff. And then on the back side, it has the eye chart, a little scale, and then this moves up and down to measure. 
this I want to say was probably like I don't know this may have been like 150 160 as well I got this on Amazon so I really loved how this hospital area turned out so I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I just had so much fun doing this. I cannot wait for the kids to come back from winter break and see all of this. I think they are absolutely going to freak out. I put some pictures on my daycare um, Facebook page and the parents were going nuts. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a big hit here at the daycare. Thank you for tuning in to my channel and I will see you in my next video.